What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here and we are finally, finally back with another video. That's right, see what we're doing right after this. All right, everyone. Right now, we are here at Delmarva RV Center's spot in Seaford, Delaware. The folks here were kind enough to let us come out and show you this brand new 2021 Grand Design Solitude ST310GK. This is a beautiful unit, so let's get started. First off, we have a beautiful front cap with lights. We also have lights here. So if you're backing up in the evening when it's dark, you can kind of see where you're headed. Also, this kingpin is the Moride kingpin that goes back and forth this way to prevent chucking and lurching when you're driving down the road. Let's move over to see the front store. All right, so inside here you have your front storage where you have a battery. This is also able to be hooked up with a generator if you so choose to. This also has the Lippert Components hydraulic leveling system, and that is your hydraulic fluid for the system itself. Okay, now let's look at the specs on this beautiful model. So this unit has a dry weight of 12,100 pounds, a hitch weight of 2,350 pounds. This also has a gross vehicle weight of 15,000 pounds. Now the length on this beautiful unit is 34 feet 11 inches with a height of 13 feet and five inches. Each axle is 7,000 pounds and I'm quite sure that they're Dexter axles. It has a fresh water uh, capacity of 93 gallons, gray water capacity of 100 gallons, wastewater capacity of 50 gallons. Now it is a 12 gallon water here, suburban model. You have two liquid propane tanks, 60 pounds. They are 30 pounds each. This also has a 35,000 BTU furnace, as well as a 5,000 BTU furnace on the inside. All right, moving on. We have the bedroom slide here, which is on the Swintech system. One of the best systems out there. Very quiet, very efficient. I'm gonna move on to storage under here. Where you have one of your 30 pound propane tanks, one on this side and one on the other side. You have huge storage under the bottom. You also have the easy reel system. You press the button and it will reel in your 50 amp cord nice and easily because you know sometimes in the winter time that cord gets cold and stiff, it's hard to use. Also, we have the Lippert auto leveling system. As I stated earlier, this is a hydraulic system. Uh, you just hit your buttons here, your, your hitch height and retract all, and you can also auto level. Very, very efficient system. Moving on, we have your water closet, as I call it, which has a water filter built in. You can set your knobs here for your dry camping city water. You can set your knobs, knobs for winterizing, sanitizing, and to fill your, uh, your fresh water tank. So this is your city water where you would put your hose. <clears throat> also, this is where you would flush your black water tank. Down here, you'll see your levers for your black tank, 
gray tank, which has two gray tanks, and also your low point valve drains. This is also heated on the inside. Inside this area, you also have some outlets if you wanna plug something in. An area for your satellite TV. We have here a 12 gallon suburban water heater. Also, we have a suburban uh, furnace with your exhaust here. Moving along, this coach has 50 amp service. So you would plug your 50 amp cord here. This slide houses your refrigerator, your kitchen area. Okay, this unit is riding on four 17 and a half Roadmaster tires with 17 and a half inch wheels. And this is an H rated tire. Very good tire to help try and prevent blowouts. The suspension system on this unit is a Moride CRE 3000, which is a great, great system to help you have a smooth ride when you're rolling down the road headed to your campground. Also in this area, you have your fresh water tank release, as well as one of your hydraulic jacks. Also, on this side, if you come this way, you will see where you would hook up your sewer hose. Moving right along. As you see, this unit comes with double pane, frameless windows. Coming over to the back of the unit, you have LED lighting. You have Curion rear camera hookup should you decide to put one on there. You have your ladder so you can get up top to see your roof, do any maintenance that's, that's needed. Now this unit has a hitch on the back which can also be used to tow items if you need to. You've got a four pin connector here for your brake lights and so forth. So you would need to check with your state to make sure that you are able to tow something behind your fifth wheel. Now on the other slide, this has the standard rack system. And this unit also sits on a 10 inch drop frame that also has LED lighting under the bottom, which is a very nice accent. All right, so this unit has two awnings. You have a 10 foot awning on your, on your slide out here. Also another 16 foot awning on this side of the RV as well. also comes with outdoor speakers, which is a Rockford Fosgate speaker system, which I'm quite sure sounds really nice. We haven't heard it yet, but Rockford Fosgate is a great company. Here you have the Moride Step Above system, which is what everyone is going to. It's nice, very nice system. You have your four steps, and if you look at this step, this is wider and the other three steps, which is, helps you get in and out of your coach nice and safe. Okay, moving right along. On the outside of this unit, you have two more electrical outlets if you wanna plug in a TV or whatever you have outside. Here you have outside shower you can plug in. You also have one on the other side. Here we have the other side of the storage which is still very, very good. You have your battery disconnect here. This, of course, is your hose for your outdoor shower. Your 50 amp cord. 
This also comes with the Rode Vac vacuum system, which we'll also show you once we get on the inside. You have motion sensor lights in the storage area, another GFCI outlet, as well as where you hook up your cable and satellite. This unit is also heated under the bottom. And also your other 30 pound propane tank. Now this unit also has an industry leading three year limited structural warranty fully laminated walls, and this is a Four Seasons camper that has Arctic insulation to keep you warm on those cold winter nights and days. Sort of like how it is right now. It's pretty cold out here. This system is also the key to light system, so all of your keys and locks are on one key. All right, Kim, you ready to head on the inside to see what's going on in there? Absolutely. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, we're inside this unit. It's nice and warm. Took off the hat and coat, got a little comfortable. I'm gonna show you what's on the inside. This unit has plenty, plenty of windows to bring that outside light inside. Now with the windows, you have your blackout shades. nice system. You also have some nice accent lighting over your dining room table. Here you have your dining room table with four nicely upholstered seats which also two have storage inside the seats. This dining room table also extends just in case you need to add one more person or add something else to your little table. Now this unit is also moving towards the no carpet trend. As you see, there's no carpet under the living room area. This is just the same type of flooring that's here. That keeps out bad odors and things of that nature inside your RV. Now also, there's no carpet inside the bedroom either, which we'll show you in just a few minutes. Love seat recliner. You got storage in the middle with a cup holder. You have removable trays if you wanna sit down and eat, as well as your electric heat, massage, and reclining. Don't get too comfortable, we got work to do. All right, <laughs> let's keep it moving. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Here you have two side tables. That's on each side of your tri-fold fold-out couch, which is a very nice size. You can get at least two adults if you have extra company that wanna stay and sleep inside this living room area. Within these tables, you have electrical outlets, plus two USB ports on each side. You have beautiful accent lighting, two lights on each side here, as well as lights under here. Plenty, plenty of storage. That is a lot of storage that goes all the way across. On the ceiling area here, you see your exhaust area for your AC. This has the Coleman Mach system, which is a relatively quiet system, 
cools really quick. This is something that a lot of manufacturers are moving towards in the industry nowadays. Very nice system. We're gonna move on over here to our entertainment area. Of course you have more storage. And inside this area, your entertainment system, which is, as stated before, the Rockford Fosgate system. Very nice system. So you have, this is Bluetooth, as well as radio, weather band, and also USB. Now hidden behind this beautiful window we have here, we have the Televator, which is on this system. Your button here is to lift up your TV. Sure, but I believe this is a 55 inch television, which is a Roku TV. Great, great system where you can watch your Netflix, uh, your Amazon Prime videos, Hulu, all from the comfort of your RV. Very nice. All right, so now with most RVs, you will normally see your speakers in the ceiling. Well, this one has two Rockford Fosgate speakers right here under the TV. Something a little different. Below your TV is a 40 inch Inoflame fireplace. As mentioned earlier, a 50,000 hours LED light, 5,000 BTU heat. And also you can turn this on and not turn the heat on and just see the ambiance of the flames. Moving along to the kitchen area. Again, more storage. Now here you have an insignia residential microwave. You also have the new four burner insignia, very big oven. Where if you're out camping or full time during Thanksgiving, you can put your big turkey right inside this oven. Very, very nice size. Also has a nice window with a stainless backsplash and plenty of counter space. In this area, you have pull out trash cans. Two of those inside this area. More storage for things that you need inside your kitchen. A huge, huge island that has your sink with a dark faucet is a double sided sink. And again, lots and lots of storage. Electrical outlet here, as well as under counter lighting. All right, so this unit is also dishwasher prepped if you choose to get a dishwasher put into this unit. Also a little area to keep your sponges and rags to clean your dishes. Moving right along. We have the Norcold gas electric refrigerator. Very nice size freezer. Also comes with two ice trays. Nice side refrigerator. 
So this is not a residential refrigerator, so it does not come with an automatic ice maker. Me personally, I like the gas electric RV refrigerators a lot better. Moving along, you have your pantry that is also lighted. Very nice size. Accent lighting above the pantry. And again, the key word in this unit, storage. More storage. You have this area here where you can put your little knickknacks or whatever you like. Here you have your coffee counter or your adult beverage counter. <laughs> more storage in this area of course you have your electrical fuses and your circuit breakers now hidden in this area you have what I call the command center where you have your porch lights your awning lights your gas electric for your uh, water heater, your fresh water tank heater, gray water tank heater, and black water tank heater, and your slides, as well as you can check to see how full your tanks are in this area right here. All right, again, moving along, we have your heating and air control here, as well as your max air system that is located right there. This unit also comes with the central vacuum system as stated earlier. Lift this up. Sweep your dirt right down inside the there. Or you can also hook up your hose right here. Also, you have a little storage area for your shoes and your flip-flops and your side slide when you're coming in to your RV. All right, moving on this way, you have the Lippert One Control System. And I'm gonna sit down here so Kim can get a good look at this. This will control your lighting, your slides. Uh, right now, we're on the setting for just a regular home button area here where you can control, turn on and off your lights your awning lights from the outside, bedroom lights, so forth. Also, you have your devices where you can put your awnings in and out. Also do your leveling as well, as well as your slides. And then you have your settings area here. You can also utilize this system from an app on your cell phone if you so choose to. So you can put your slides in and out, your awnings in and out, while you're out at the campsite, offer of your cell phone. Some people don't like this system. A lot of people do like this system. We don't have it, but I would like to try it at some point. All right? Let's move on up to the bathroom. Inside the bathroom, regulation size, it comes with porcelain toilet, Hooks for your towels. A little storage area for more items that you need inside here. Now this unit has the one piece shower, which is a step down with plenty of headroom, as well as the new updated shower that has your sprays here and you also have sprays that come out through here, as well as your handheld shower. I stated plenty of headroom inside the shower. You have your basic faucet and sink, as well as medicine cabinet. More storage underneath for all of your toiletries. Let's move on into the master bedroom. 
So as you can see, there's no carpet inside the bedroom. Not inside, not on the floor. Right here you have your AC unit control, as well as your lights, which seems a little backwards. Down is on and up is off. Not sure how that works. Looks like, it looks like we have a king size bed here. And on each, on this side of the bed, you have your USB ports, as well as electrical outlets. And it looks like there is one on the other side there. You have three windows inside this bedroom, along with lights, reading lights above the bed. You have a nice size closet. And that's your USB ports and electro outlets that was stated earlier. Inside your closet, you've got plenty of storage. Also, you have more storage if you like to hang clothes, or you can use this because it's washer dryer prepped. You can put your stackable washer dryer inside this area. This unit also comes with a TV inside your bedroom, another nice window to see outside at your beautiful campsite. You have six drawer dresser, along with additional storage under this lid. Now, with this master bedroom, under the bed, you have additional storage. as well as a pull-out ottoman so you can sit down, put on your shoes, socks, or you're headed out for the day. Let's keep it going. Now inside this bedroom, you have another Coleman Mop air conditioning unit to keep you cool on those hot summer days out at the campground. Which I'm wishing for right now. this week's video we know we've been away for quite a while but we wanted to spend some time away from the camera with our families for the holidays safely wearing our masks so forth and so on and we wanted to get rid of 2020 and bring in 2021 with the family safely away from the camera but we're back right Kim we're back with 2021. Hmm, the jury's still out on that one. Yeah, it's starting out a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to thank everybody. I um, hope everybody had a happy holiday and wish everybody a happy new year as well. And to uh, actually thank Damarva uh, RV in Seaford, Delaware for letting us do this video and just to let you know that we are not being compensated in any way. Yes. So this is just solely just to show everyone what this new 2021 grain design uh, rig looks like. Yep, and it's a very, very nice unit. 
we enjoyed giving this video to you guys and I want to give a special thank you to my baby for all of the nice camera works he did during this video. Right? That's right. Hey, I want to let everybody know someone is turning the big six zero. <gasps> it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today is January 9th, the day that we're shooting this video and it's actually my birthday. So I want to thank everyone who sent me birthday wishes. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you for the love. All right, so we will conclude this week's video and say we hope that you like, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification button, and we will also put a link to Delmarva RV Center's website at the bottom of this video. All right, mm -hmm. so everybody, once again, here's hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. All right, folks, we'll see you next time. Bye.